What's going on guys? Killer6 back with the legendary item guide on the buffed Embers Purge. In this video, I'll cover how to get it, break down how the weapon works, and cover some of the other things that you should be on the lookout for with this weapon. So let's get right into it. The Embers Purge is a legendary SMG manufactured by Malawan and the red text reads, she's the only one who knows what it is to burn. This is a reference to a song called What It Is To Burn by a band called Finch. The Ember's Purge special ability is that it has a high chance to spawn a magma pool beneath damaged enemies, and this magma pool just destroys enemies that are standing in it. The Ember's Purge can only be obtained by completing the Ember's Bomb challenges in DLC 1. I'll quickly show each of those locations right now, so feel free to pause this video in order to help you in your search. The stats on this one at Mayhem 10 level 65 are 3,210 times 2 damage because I've got the binary prefix on mine. 82% accuracy, 58% handling, reload time is 2.4 seconds, the fire rate is 11.9 shots per second, and the mag size is 26 on the one that I have here. As you can see, this one does consume two ammo per shot if you get a non-binary one, then that will only consume one ammo per shot. Now, Moe's, you can use the binary one and it's fine. You're not worried about the ammo consumption. With Amara, I would say actually avoid the binary one because what you're gonna get your most damage out of this gun with is not the gun itself, but it's going to be the damage that you get by getting the elemental pool spawning around. So if you're spending time reloading the gun because the mag size is lower and the damage is higher and it's binary and you're using up ammo quicker, then you're going to do less damage ultimately. This weapon is exceptional on every single Vault Hunter, but I especially enjoy it on both Moe's and Amara, as Moe's has all the fire damage boosting skills in her skill trees, and Amara has a bunch of skills to further amplify elemental damage. But even without any boost to elemental damage, you'll see that this gun will destroy things really well as long as they stand in the magma pools, especially on higher mayhem levels where the elemental liquids receive the mayhem damage. Now, what you want to avoid using this on are flying enemies. That said, it can do some serious work, even as you can see in this footage right here against the Kraken during the Malawan takedown on true takedown difficulty, by the way, this thing actually burns through his armor fairly well. It does decent work against the Valkyries, but they tend to move a lot and jump and fly and do things like that. So generally not going to want to use it versus most armored enemies. It does really good work once you get through the shield phase of Trant. It does not work at all versus Graveward since Graveward doesn't stand on anything. So you won't want to use it there, even though he is weak to fire damage. Now, one thing that you will notice from this gun is that if you aren't using it to get those elemental pool damages, then you're just not going to really want to use this gun. It does okay versus mobs, but only if they're weak to fire. It's just that elemental pool does insane damage. So if you're maximizing perks in your skill tree that really take advantage of that, then that's going to do really great work. But if you're trying to shoot things that are flying or things that aren't going to stand in the magma pools, you're going to think that this gun's just not that good. Now, the main downside, obviously, to this gun, besides the fact that you can't use it versus flying targets or targets that move around too much, is that you can only get one of these per character per playthrough. And in order to get these, you have to go basically basically all the way through DLC one, and that's per character to get one. You cannot get a second one on any character. And that to me is a huge problem because you can't control what anointment this thing spawns with. And then also if you do DLC one early, say you do it at like level 30 or something like that. And then you never like, you know, realize that you were only going to get one and you get this thing at like level 33 and then you're stuck with that because you can't get another one. Of course, at that point you can go into true vulnerable mode and get another one, but that's such a pain in the butt. Just be aware. You can only get this thing once. So wait till you're level 65 before you go get this and make sure you're on mayhem 10 or mayhem 11 when you actually get the final bomb okay because if you pick up that final bomb and you're not on mayhem 10 or 11 say you're on mayhem 3 you're gonna get a mayhem 3 version <laughs> so keep that in mind with the buff to this weapon it is now easily a top 10 smg in borderlands 3 because of those magma pools and i absolutely love the feel of melting almost everything in sight with this thing so i hope this guide to the embers purge was helpful to you if it was then please take a second to hit that like button hit subscribe and tap the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i post new videos Videos, you can click on one of the cards at the end of this video to see more legendary item guides as well. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.